reaction of what's happening. I want to go out to Tony again here. She is out there uh, right close to the 405 in Zapulveda. Let's see if she's got uh, the latest information of how, what's happening out there. Tony, can you hear us? Yes, absolutely. I can hear you. I think you guys are on top of it as far as the latest information, uh, but I can tell you right now that things are evolving here out in the field. Again, we are on Sepulveda Boulevard. Uh, we are looking as south right now towards sunset. I told you earlier that a lot of people had parked on the overpass to sunset watching this fire move in that direction. Much of the brush has already burned, but it is slowly marching in just the time since we last uh, reported live from this spot. You can see how much is burned and where that fire is going. We're now calling it the Getty Fire. It is moving in a west southwest direction. Uh, but I also want to show you folks something because I mentioned that the uh, California Highway Patrol is really trying to keep the 405 open in both directions. I don't know if that is the case right now, uh, but uh, a couple of things. First of all, we had a member of our sports team, the NBC4 uh, sports team, Michael Duarte, was driving on the 405 uh, right at about the time the fire started. If we have that video, please show that so that people can understand uh, just how tense a situation that was and what a big uh, task it's going to be in trying to keep the 405 open. Uh, this fire broke out, uh, I believe, around uh, 2 o'clock this morning, and it spread quickly. The off-ramps uh, near Getty Center uh, Drive were shut down. The off-ramps near Skirball were also shut down, trying to keep people from coming onto the freeway at that point. Uh, but as uh, photographer Renee Luna and I were driving. Uh, I told you we went uh, south on the uh, 405 and then we looped around and went back north. I shot a little video with a cell phone uh, to give a sense that uh, as people were seeing what was going on, it was clear that they were in disbelief and uh, some people slowed down. So be careful if, if indeed the freeway is still open. And uh, Danielle and Adrian, I think you have a better view of the freeway at this point than I do. This all depends on the wind, which is right now about 15 miles an hour up on the ridges as much as 20 miles an hour and some of the gusts in the morning that could be up to 30 miles an hour so uh, we have all the resources that are available on top of this right now please go to lafd.org for information uh, on Sepulveda at the Westwood Rec Center that is one of the evacuation centers where we have set up a shelter for folks uh, that are in the mandatory evacuation area also in the Sherman Oaks Van Nuys Rec Center in the San Fernando Valley that is available and for animals, we have set stuff set up again, LAFD.org. But we have pushed that mandatory evacuation out further west to Chautauqua. So get out, uh, get your stuff together, and leave now. Um, do not wait on that if you hear that. And everybody who is poised uh, further west, be ready. Come forward. Can you introduce yourself real quick? Could you use your name, sir? Yeah, Al Poyer. I'm the Chief Deputy of Emergency Operations for the Fire Department. Uh, as the Mayor and Eric have told you, uh, we're focusing all of our resources and assets on protecting the homes on the, the southern and western edge of the fire. So when you don't see water drops here along Sepulveda, rest assured, all of our assets have been brought to bear and they're making water drops to try and protect those homes on the, the western and southern flanks of this fire. So it's primarily you're focusing on structure protection via the aerial attack? Yeah, structure defense and structure protection, yes, and then okay. evacuation. What area is your biggest concern? Yeah, it's very difficult to tell. Like Eric said, it's a very dynamic fire at this time. Uh, the fire is burning primarily in a southwesterly direction. Uh, those folks in Kenter Canyon along Bunny Drive and Mandeville Canyon have been evacuated. And of course, we push that boundary out to, uh, to Mescal Canyon right now, but we're primarily focused on Kenter Canyon and along Bunny Drive and Mandeville Canyon at this time. At any point, did a fire ever jump the 405 freeway? No, it's not. You just heard from the mayor and other fire officials regarding the latest on what we are now calling the Getty Fire. Uh, one of the bigger updates, it's uh, more than 400 acres burned right now. Uh, that, that number continues to grow. Tim Lynn has been telling us all morning long. I believe we have Eric Spillman live right now from a new location. Eric. Yeah. Hi, we're on Tiger Tail. Uh, if you could hear us, uh, well north of Sunset Boulevard here, Tiger Tail. We've heard that there is a home on fire here. And I can tell you, we just arrived on scene. There's structures up behind us here. And you can see how the fire just kind of burned up this canyon and uh, came up towards where these homes are. There's something back here. I mean, it's honestly difficult to see. There's so much smoke. This is somebody's driveway here, 1026 Tiger Tail. And it does look like something is burning back there that's a structure. It's hard to see for sure. But there are an enormous number of firefighters on scene here right now. 
they've got the street uh, blocked off. It's it's hard to uh, to navigate through here. There's so much smoke. It's very difficult to see. But uh, lots of people in position, lots of firefighters in position with their hose lines out, and they're trying to protect the homes here. But it is windy, and you see a lot of embers flying around back there in that driveway. Lots of embers going every which way, and, and that makes this thing difficult how to control. How these firefighters work, how dangerous the conditions are there. Again, we really want you guys to stay safe. We worry about that. Uh, the signal kind of going in and out. We're going to continue to uh, keep these pictures up for as long as Eric can safely bring them to us. Uh, we're going to be going back up to Tim Lynn, and we're going to show you kind of the vantage point from overhead as well. And uh, Tim, we have you. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, refueled and back up here. As you can see, the fire is still burning away from the 405 out to the south of uh, Ridge Brink. It uh, widened out. We'll show you the footprint of this fire again to show you where it is in relationships to the uh, uh, freeway. There's the 405 at the base of the uh, shot there. It's still moving. That little uh, street that's going off to the uh, right there, that's Mountain Gate. So that community has uh, been protected. The fire has moved away from that area. But uh, you can see it's burning on a very wide path along the 405, just on the west side, and then all the way out to the uh, uh, west, on the east side of the 405, the west side, burning up into the hills of the Santa Monica Mountains, uh, working its way over the hills and to Brentwood and along that Bundy area where uh, we saw this one structure, actually three structures burning over that area. That's where I'm heading right now. As you can see right here, how much fire is still here. The wind is blowing 30 miles an hour now out of Van, and Van Nuys out of the north. So it's very turbulent down low, but once we get up here a little bit higher, it uh, smooths out, but that really is pushing this fire along. You can see the big fire load to the left of the screen, and then over on the right side of the screen, that's where it's burning into the uh, urban uh, area, the brush area. And, you know, very old growth up here, so it has a lot of uh, potential and a lot of uh, uh, oil in this uh, uh, shrubs that are up here. So it's causing a lot of ember casting. We watched uh, earlier uh, this one tree go up and just shower the area with, with embers. And that's what the uh, firefighters have been dealing with, why it grew so fast. It was not only running uphill, you had spot fires going out ahead of it. And that was, uh, you know, the fire department tried their best to get ahead of it with, with the helicopters and getting the ground crews in here, very tight streets. Uh